Hey guys, Dr. Deucer here, mtfucoach.com. Two things, most prevalent things I see uh, for people who are doing standing curls. Um, not so much seated curls, but standing curls, and, and either with a straight bar or dumbbells. Uh, well, first of all, let me show you uh, the best way uh, to do them to hit your biceps, okay? We've talked about grip, and we either want straight wrist grip, or we're talking about the waiter's grip, where we take the forearm out and it's more bicep that way, that's what I like doing, and it's all bicep, okay, the elbow comes a little bit forward, okay, and you feel it in the bicep, that's the biggest key right there, and I'm not using a lot of weight, I can go a little heavier, but what's the whole thing with a lot of people, well, they want to lose a lot of weight, they want to lose weight, but they also want to use weight usually too much, so if we're looking at the arm, and it looks like this from the side, what do you see a lot of people do? They bring up the weight and then they bring the elbow back. Okay, it's kind of like a little, I'm not good at doing it because I'm not really good at doing things wrong. <laughs> but you see this, and what's the philosophy, whether the people know it or not? Well, they're shortening the distance that the weight has to travel up to the end point because in their minds, it's all about how much weight they can do, and they're kind of skipping the bicep. Skipping the bicep, okay? And that's not to say, that a drag curl is bad, and if you're familiar with drag, uh, drag curls, I've gone over those before, pretending this is a bar, straight bar. Okay, drag curl looks like this, where you're pulling the elbows back, and it's a really, really good exercise, because that's the intent of this movement. But when you're with the dumbbells, again, you don't want that. You want your elbow a little bit in front of you, and none of that play like that. The second one, well, we're still curling, okay? And if you're curling a dumbbell and you're bringing it up, and you're keeping the uh, wrist straight, or you know the waiter's grip once again, keeping it straight. If you're going to bring it up, it stop, stops right about there because the bicep's kind of hitting the forearm, and that's as far as you're going to go. That's total contraction right there. But again, what do people do? It's all about too much weight. They bring it and they kind of rest it right here, and you'll see that. Mm, boom, mm, boom, and uh, well, that wasn't really one, but they rest it at the top and they rest it right there. Well, you're taking the tension off the bicep, which is very bad because throughout the movement you want tension, number one. And number two, when the muscle becomes flaccid with a load, good way to get injured. So again, you don't want to rest the weight like that. And that is how you get those biceps out. Uh, so you want to eliminate those two things, maybe go a little lighter, make sure you're feeling the mind-muscle connection right in the bicep. And then maybe you too can have arms that stun like I once had and I'm trying to work back towards. So in any event, your thoughts, questions, considerations, and statements written down below are appreciated. Thumbs up if you think it's warranted and you have a good night.